Hello YouTube, this is EM559Fresno and in this video I'm going to teach you how to spot a fake iPhone charger. These are common on eBay, Craigslist, whatever website you're looking on. Most sellers classify them as OEM but they're not. OEM stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer, meaning Apple, the company who made the phone. Um, some downsides of using these fake chargers are they can damage your battery life, void your Apple care warranty and um, that's pretty much it they'll just mess up your phone alright so right here up close I have a fake iPhone charger the way you can tell are most of the times these fake ones have misspellings look at the top first line designed by Apple M California I think that M should have said in well actually I'm sure it should have said in but uh, that's one misspelling also I went down here and I saw where it says caution information the word was too big so Apple put a space down here on the real one as well but on this fake one they forgot to finish up the word information Let's see if my camera can focus see it just goes down to technology alright so I'll show you a comparison the real charger right now it's on the left and the fake one is on the right See, as you can tell, the writing on the fake one, it's like much uh, sharper. And it's actually written in like a black ink, while the Apple one, it's written in a gray ink. Alright, also, if you go to this um, back side of the charger, see, this is the real one, remember? More of the gray ink. So the real one has the, um, it has like a bigger white right here. Watch, I'll show you. So this is the real one. Fake one. Meaning that the USB port is more pushed out on the fake one. So, if you get a USB cable and you plug it into the fake one. See, there's a little gap. Go to the Apple one. And the gap is visibly reduced. Sorry, my camera's a little bad, but uh, hopefully you get the point. See, gap. Oops. See, like the gap is more uh, reduced. Some ways you can tell, although this isn't the best method, is like by balancing them. But uh, that's not really the best method. See, this is the real one. It balanced with ease. This is the fake one. It does balance sometimes. Like I have gotten it to balance. Uh, so it might just be like a chance thing. Although the Apple one did balance easier. See, watch. So that one's just harder to balance. But I mean it is doable. I'm sure if I play around with it I can get it to balance. See, so it might just depend. So, easiest way, bottom line, the easiest way is um, make sure the writing on the charger looks like a little blurry. That'll mean it's real. Uh, although I'm sure some fake ones are a better quality than this one I bought. This fake one I bought for like two bucks. Uh, it said OEM and I was like, wow, OEM charger for two dollars. Can't go wrong. Well, I guess I did since now it's just a paperweight. Uh, I noticed that when you use the fake one with your iPhone and it's plugged in, you can't really type on the keyboard. It like messes up. It starts typing up random stuff. And um, so those are just some quick tips. Hope you like this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let your friends know. Facebook, whatever. Uh, subscribing, it's free. Basically what it does is every time I upload a new video, it'll email you depending on whether you check that or not. If you don't want that email to come up, then uh, you don't have to check that. When you click subscribe, it'll ask you. Um, uh, but I'm sure you'll find some other useful videos for me, hopefully. If not, just let me know what you want me to uh, make a video on and I'll be glad to do that. Thank you.